Welcome viewers to another Fly Casual How To. Uh, today we are going to be learning how to uh, play Amada on Tabletop Simulator. Uh, this is actually going to be a three part series uh, covering installing uh, installing uh, Amada on Tabletop Simulator, uh, building lists, saving lists and objectives, uh, setting up for a game, uh, spawning your pieces, loading lists, deployments, how to move and lots of the fun stuff that you, almost everything you need to know to how to play the game. Uh, so, first off, uh, to play, you need to uh, download a copy of Tabletop Stimulate, uh, Simulator to your Steam account. Uh, then, once you've done that, you click on the Workshop button. And take this page, and you need to look up Star Wars Armada. And let's see what we get. And we scroll down. Uh, there'll be all sorts of ones that you want. You want the one here with the five star rating, uh, Star Wars Armada complete with script. Uh, click on that. Once you have downloaded that and it is part of your uh, tabletop simulator, you can jump in, click play, and we can start uh, having fun. Let's just take this out to load. always comes up with some little bit of fun imagery there, usually a 40k stuff, oddly enough, sometimes chess pieces. Alrighty, so to get started, uh, the first thing you're going to need to do to play is to uh, build a list and save a list in the game, just to make things a lot easier for you to land on the track. So if you click on create, and just click single player, and it will bring you up here. You want to go into workshop, uh, Amada tabletop simulator complete script, click load, and this should load everything up for us, and here we go. This is what you start off with. Uh, load complete. Okay, uh, so this is the board that you play on. Uh, looking at it, you can kind of see that everything's kind of, you know, it's all three-dimensional. You can kind of change everything around, get different angles of the game, and yeah, they've only just added these new ships to the game as well. Uh, the Oniger and the Starhawk, so they are not the best rendered ones for now, but we're going to go ahead and delete those for now, because we do not need them out. Uh, okay, so first thing you're going to want to do is to build your list by selecting buttons here, bring over, or selecting these bags I should say, bring them over the middle of the table here. you got four bags, you've got obstacles, all cards, shield dials, and campaign tokens for those of you who want to play the Rebellion in the Rim or the uh, Krillin Conflict. Uh, they've even got the maps provided on the side here. Uh, so first off we are going to look for a list to build. So you want to click the bag, right, uh, right click on the bag, search, and you, okay I'm going to decide to build a rebel list first off so I'm going to build something simple so we click rebel ships bring it out to the center. Uh, I'm going to need some rebel squadrons because we all love squadrons, don't we? And I'm also going to need some sorted upgrade cards. So let's grab those out. And place them on the table as well. Alrighty, uh, so get rid of that box there. So I think I will build my. Let's see, what do I want to build? You know what? I'm going to build my TRC Corvette list because that's just a very easy one to build. So we search our ships here, you've got all the Rebel ships, uh, even the Starhawks. So let's start off with Rebel Corvettes. Alrighty, so I've got one of those. Uh, let's see what else was in that list of mine. I think I also had a GR-75 transport, not the combat. We want the medium. I had one of those, and I also had a Torpedo Frigate. Torpedo, here we go. That's one we want, MC-30 Torpedo Frigates. Okay, that is all the ships I will need, so what you can do now, just highlight that, uh, right click and delete, or just hit the backspace button, and it disappears. Alright, I'll just move these squadrons out the way for Whoop. Pick up the whole deck, just hold down, it'll pick up the whole deck for you, we don't need those yet, so we're going to need upgrades. This is a little tricky sometimes, just got to remember to hold the buttons down. This would also be a lot faster if I had my mouse plugged in. 
Okay, I'm going to start off with my Corvettes first. I had four Corvettes in this list, so I'm going to right click, uh, copy, and then let's go paste. So I had four Corvettes in that list, didn't I? So let's go control V and V. So there we go. Four lovely Corvettes and each one of those Corvettes had a TRC so we're going to go find our upgrades bag we're going to where are we search okay I need TRCs they are the turbo laser so we grab our turbo laser and that's going to drop a bag on the table or we'll drop the cards on the table we discard this right click hit the search button again uh, you can drag all the cards out one at a time if you wish, but it really takes a lot of time to do that. So, uh, it's easy to hit the search button, turbo laser rear circuit, there it is. Forgot what the old card looks like, I'm just so used to the new card. Okay, let's flip that, for some reason it always drops them face down. Uh, and then I need one for each one of those guys, so let's do the whole same thing again. Let's go copy, and oh, let's do a shortcut. One, two, three. I've got four copies of those, so I've got one, one, one of those, one of those. I'm only just laying these out just to make sure I don't miss any upgrades for any of these ships. So one for this one here, and one more for him here. Uh, okay, next I had uh, this guy here, he was just a filler ship from memory, and now I have the big guns, the MC-30. Alrighty, he came equipped with H9, so I've still got the bag open, so H9 turbo laser. Drop that one on the table. Okay, uh, oh, well I've got commanders out, I might as well look for my commander, which was Kraken. Kraken, Kraken, Kraken. Ah, there he is, right there, General Kraken. He was on one of them, on one of the Corvettes there. We'll just flip that. Okay, I got Kraken. Uh, then we can delete the commanders. We don't need those anymore. I do not need Turbulos anymore, so we get rid of those. And let's have a look back in upgrades again. Click the search. Alrighty, uh, we are going to need weapons teams. For the MC30, uh, defensive because I did have a defensive in that. Uh, fleet support point for titles. We need some titles. Titles are always good. Uh, fleet commands, iron cannons, fleet support. I'm looking for external racks. Where are you? Ordnance, there you are. External racks, and let's add in a officer as well. And that should be all as I need from that. I'll just go that. I won't delete that bag just yet, just in case I'm wrong. So in terms of officers, we shall search for Lando Calrissian. Lando, Lando, Lando. Oh, I suppose we can just make it faster because there's so many officers. Lando, there he is. Lando, so I don't need any more officers, so I'm just going to highlight that and backspace. Uh, defensive retrofits search button again and I am looking for advanced projectors because when you've got two redirects it always pays to have some advanced projectors so we don't need that I will not need those cards anymore so we can delete those uh, external racks that is a beautiful card as I'm sure everybody is aware external racks here we go Um, external racks, we don't need ordnance anymore. Uh, let's see, we do need a weapons team. We need to search for ordnance experts, which is, there we go. Ordnance experts, and lastly, we just need the titles. So get rid of that. I uh, will not need the upgrades bag anymore, so we'll just discard that one. Search, oh boy, a lot of titles in this one. I've got 60 titles. So, the first one I am looking for is Abnition. Uh, what is it? AD? AB? There it is, AD. Yep. 
Yes, the rumours about my spelling are atrocious. I cannot spell. And the other one we need is uh, Gianna's Light. Gianna's Light, there it is. Now put that one here. I'll flip that card. And I haven't flipped all these ones yet because we'll highlight them all and flip them all together. To flip, you can either right click and select flip or you can just push the F button to flip them for you. Okay, we don't need those anymore. Okay, seven, whoops. Yep, search that again. Ah, wait, sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. We need to do squadrons. So, squadrons. Squadrons for this one here. Well, what are we going to do? We're going to Shara. So, there we go. We want to get ourselves some Shara. Uh, then Tycho. Tycho. And then I'll just add in one extra A-Wing. A-wing, all that, that is cool, okay, when you do set your build your list up, your best to build it, like, when you want to save a list, just build it in the middle of the field, uh, if you try and build it over the side here, or laid out nice and perfect, it will come back to bite you later, and I'll get into that when it's uh, that time. Okay, now I want to search for objectives, you've got the objective in two places, you can either search the bag, or you can search the table objectives, they're all written here, I'll just pull them out of the bag for now. Search objectives. Let's jump that there and get rid of that. I would not need anything else out of that bag, so I'll just delete. If I ever did need something out of that bag, these here are continuously spawning, so I can bring out as many of these bags with all the cards as I wish. If you and your opponent are both building your list at the same time, you can both draw multiple bags and search for what you need. Okay, so objectives for this one. Let's have a look. So what have we got? Uh, fleet ambush, fire lanes, contest outpost, capture the VIP, fighter ambush, jam bearer, iron cannon, rift ambush. You know what? I like rift ambush. Let's get that one. That's a fun objective. I pretty much almost always make that my yellow noun. I love that one. Uh, this time, for this one, for a blue, let's pick uh, not superior positions because I lost the tournaments many times because of that one. Uh, you know what, Intel Sweep, I'd almost pick that if it wasn't for the fact I didn't have any, um, if I had some strategic squadrons in there, so instead I will just pick Solar Corona, as everybody does. And for the last one, since, you know what, since I've got a lot of ships and i got a lot of guns coming at people, uh, and just so I don't pick surprise attack like every other time, I'm going to look for Opening Salvo. There it is, so we've got Opening Salvo. I will drop that there on the table, and I do not need these anymore, and boom, we are done. Whoop, and I had those all night, and these things arranged. Okay, and there we go, that is the list done. So when you want to save a list, that's all you need to do. You now will select the whole list, and if you click up, if you right click, on, just on any one of the cards, it doesn't make a difference which card you do, as long as they are all highlighted, you click on Save Object, and I'm going to make this my uh, Kraken list. Kraken list, click the save button, and we're done. So when we go ahead and delete that now, and if we go into to load it, you just click on objects, click on saved objects. Oh, look at that, there it is, Kraken list. You just click on that, and boom drops you everything on the table for you ready to go. Now this is the part where I say it's best to put everything in the centre of the table as you can because as you see when it drops, it drops in the centre. Uh, I used to save them in a nice flat line across the bottom of the table here and that proved to be a nightmare because then it will start here in the centre and your cards will go all the way here then fly off the table and drop away into infinity. So yes, yeah, best just to leave them all a nice square on the table then once you've got them set like that you can them up and then take them over there, which I'll, uh, I'll show that in the next video. Um, so yeah, that's all you need to know for um, how to set up and save a list. So once you get a list saved up, then you can move on to set up and uh, spawning pieces, and I will cover that in the next video. We'll see you in the next one.